bucket full of insulators. Well, it's gonna get the wheelbarrow for all our stuff. Gideon is awake and wants to come with us. It's bright and early. Let me ask you something. Why do they call it bright and early? <laughs> it's very dark. And it's actually not that early. It's just a little after seven, but we have to get the cows moved to the mountain board field today. So it has to happen. You coming? No, I want a nap. Hey, Dad. This doesn't need to be up. The guineas aren't gonna get in there through that low tunnel, I don't think. So we're gonna get this stuff out of the weather. Look who's up with me. Ben, Holler Homestead, and tell everybody your name. Uh, Corbin. Your brothers aren't here. <coughs> He's about to try to introduce his He's brothers. He's just like, yeah, well, <laughs> never mind. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to take Corbin and now Brett? Can you guys go do the chores? Mm -hmm. Lily! Mm -hmm. Nice gloves. We're getting these T-posts. We're going to insulate them. We're going to put them up for a perimeter. We don't have, we're going to move the cows to the across the street to the okay. mountain board course. Okay. We have no perimeter. And we, they got to move today because they're going to be out of food. Okay. Now, Ben, let's do about 25 of these for our last permanent side fence. It looks like we found us some help. Justin. Joseph. Here we go. He's already loading up. Okay, how many people does it take to set up an electric fence? Hey, Ben, I need the, uh, the short what is it? Will you come stand here, Joseph? Yes, I need those. <laughs> and the twine. I heard the word short, and I was like, oh, it's me. Megan's going berry picking, pulling around. Lolly gagging. I was going to keep everybody busy. Pulling around know. like this. I don't know. We're everybody wants to, to pull around. I don't know. We'll have to figure something <laughs> out. Um, Stay focused, Megan. I know. I'm sorry. I'm talking. <laughs> we ran out of twine. And we're about that much too short. Yeah. I got some scraps so I could tie together. I look too. In the position of a child, where would I leave this? Where did they leave it? In the barn on the other side. Let me say this about volunteers. Ben, I'm gonna make you the foreman. Uh oh. oh of this. Again. <laughs> okay, you're gonna supervise the foreman then, Megan. <laughs> they actually are helpful. I mean, you might think that somebody just coming in short term might actually not be helped because they don't know the ropes and whatnot, but we've learned to incorporate them, let them be a part of it. Put a T-post, you don't touch this line, you put right next to it, either on the right or the left, just be consistent. Put one pole here at the end, take 20 steps. Let me see what that is, let me make sure. One, three, why don't you just do 15 steps? Yeah, because I want to make sure we have enough T-posts. And then put another one in, insulators facing the same way. And then a, a T post at the end. Joseph, you gonna help him? Yeah. Where's your hat? Look at all. Okay, you're getting warmed up. Yes. Yeah, you know, at first we started out in this YouTube channel and we're building a home we were building a homestead by ourselves as a family. And that was great and that provides great content. But at some point folks wanted to come out. And we welcome that, and that's actually been one of the greatest perks of this is that it's built community surrounding us that we didn't have before. We put a post in from here to here to way down there. No longer is this just our farm, just the Rhodes family farm. This is like your farm. Folks are uh, running a line. Megan's running a line. Ben and Joseph are putting in T-posts. This is their farm. It's just hard to keep you good workers busy. This is out of Goshen's farm, helping us plant those blueberries. Y'all ready to dig? Yes. Everybody yeah. got a shovel? We can dig it. It's a collaborative effort and everybody and many people are wanting to be a part of it. And we're happy and honored to, to take that and let people get the experience, let people get experience the glory. Joseph, you ever worked on a farm before? Yes. Oh, you have? Oh. <laughs> did that happen? Did you break their insulators too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you did? Yes. Well, you didn't tell me that when you well, lined up to volunteer. I didn't know it was going to break off. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't we're break just, insulators. We're going to have to use right? another one or go get another insulator? Get another insulator. We'll get another insulator. There's a couple of these. Because we have more insulators okay. than posts. There's a couple awesome. of these. That's the rings, good. That's a good the thing. The threaded rings oh, yeah. on the back are <laughs> awesome. Okay. I was like, why is We'll drive this in. We'll get the insulators later. Yeah. You got 15 minutes, Joseph. These posts. 
Way up there, okay, buddy? Okay. Can you do it? I think so. Okay. Is farming everything you thought it was going to be? I love farming. It's always you been do. everything I thought it was going to be, yeah. Okay, even when you break the insulators? Yep. Okay. Yep. What if that was your last insulator and you had to run a tractor supply right now? I'd have to run a tractor supply right now and get the But insulator. what about breakfast? I'd have to eat breakfast after. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think he's got it. What do you think, Ben? He's got it okay. down. <laughs> Priority number one is the farm. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, just run those run those out and we'll go okay. get some more. I think there's some more on farm. Hey, you gonna get in the trailer? All right. Hey, there's a seat right here, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little too close. Too Come fun. on. You know, I know I, I've watched your videos for a while, but we still just met. We haven't we haven't had coffee yet together. <laughs> there it is. There's more. More right here. Man, look at this stuff. We've got quite the winter stockpile right there. That's what fescue is really good for. It stays green during the winter. There's another one. One more. No, no, we were up here. You couldn't hear the pounding. So what, where are we at then, boss? <laughs> boss. Check out that view, y'all. Can't beat that. We've got a massive pile of rocks right here I can't get through. How many places have you tried? I moved all over. There you go. There you go. We've got our line up here, room for a mower on the outskirt. Walk that. The other just puts it in there. All right. Like that. The cows are done with this, this side of the field. They would go over here. But I want to. We're going on vacation in December. I want to keep this for our farm service. We'll just let them have that whole area. They won't have to move them. Why do I want to keep them in here? Because it's got a woven wire perimeter fence that the cows aren't going to get out of. There's no chance of them getting out while I'm gone. Dad, we got you some fresh grass. Come on. Come on. Just be ready to jump through the fence. See, he kicks. It's a tricky part because they just don't know what we want and there's fresh grass right there. The road's tricky. I don't want them to get out and go down the road. So far, so good. Ooh, he's feeling frisky. It's going as planned. They made it. Oh, they're loving it. It's like candy store to them. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. Listen, everybody needs to be quiet. took over our house yesterday? <laughs> now wait a minute. I guess it's okay because you did the chores. That's right. Yeah, that's and right. it looks like you did a better job than I did. <laughs> if you guys want to go see these guys take over the farm, I'll leave the link right there and in the description. Anyway.